Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a large, exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is a brand new. If you wanna keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos I post throughout the week because those are the ones that you're gonna see all the new cool items that are out there that hopefully you can find for a dollar. Also in my videos, I like to open the products, show you up close and try it out if I'm able to and give you my honest opinion. I also measure the items so it gives you a better idea on how big and small the items are. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link those down below as well. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you what I purchased. So I am gonna start off with these. These are amazing, like amazing. So there's three different ones. This one says, follow your arrow, has a gold frame, a butterfly, and you can see it's like a like a shadow box almost. It does have this ribbon if you wanted to hang it if you want, but I think it's kind of eh. But I'm going to show you all three, and I already started dissecting one to give you a better look on what it really is. So there's that one, and this one says enjoy the little things with that butterfly. And then the last one is believe in yourself. So there is that one, and they all have the ribbon. Now, I took one of them, and I start taking it apart. So, of course, you have the glass. Here is the butterfly. It's like a, almost feels like a shrinky dink kind of feel. So I went ahead and took the butterfly out, cut around it, because you can use it for other things if you wanted to. This is the frame. It is plastic. You can always spray paint it if it's not the color you like and do your own thing. This was the cardboard behind it, you know? So if you want, you can paint this, you could put pictures in the background, you can uh, take a sheet of paper like from Hobby Lobby or something and make it into a seasonal thing, like change it up. If you wanted to keep, you know, the cardboard and everything in there, it's almost like a little shadow box, so you could put little figurines in there. Um, this would even be cute, um, even if you put something else in the back for a wedding party or something. So, yeah. Oh, and also with the glass, you don't have to use it on that. You can use it with something else if you want. So, yeah, I wanted to take that apart. And let me tell you how big these are. So, this is uh five and a half and well five and a half so that's how big those are so that gives any idea on those now these i think there's four different ones um i only picked up the two and i already started taking one apart again um with like the shadow boxes as well has the ribbon to hang it and they have different cactus this one says um imagine so there's that one there's the back and these are uh, seven and a half by six. So that's the size of those. The other one I picked up is Create. So there is that one. So I took this one apart, same as with the other ones. It's cardboard, little cardboard box. You have the glass and there is the frame. Again, if you don't like the color, go ahead and spray paint it or use any kind of paint or whatever you wanna do. These are be really cute for Christmas, um, do different, uh, like take their gift bags. I like to take their gift bags during the holidays and frame them. Buy a frame at the Dollar Tree, use rulers, paint them, but that would be something really cute and change it up for different holidays. So that'll give you an idea on what to do. Again, this is like a shadow box kind of thing. So you can take some little um, characters, Christmas trees or whatever, and do like a little winter scene in those. So I really like those, those are cute. Um, another item. Yes, they are getting their Christmas stuff out. And I know a lot of you just make your skin crawl knowing that there's Halloween stuff, Thanksgiving, and now Christmas. Now, I know it keeps getting earlier and earlier and earlier, but if you see something that you like, I suggest you pick it up right there and then, because if you want to wait until after Thanksgiving, heck, they're going to be having the summer stuff coming out. So just pick it up. Just bite your tongue and just say, okay, I'm going to get it. Put it off to the side and just pretend you don't even have it until it's time to use it. So just 
I wanted to throw that out there. But the only, oh, well, I picked up two Christmas items um, in this haul. So these are the wood um, words and phrases that they sell. These are made really, really nice. This one is new this year. It is Mary with a deer. So many possibilities with these. I'm going to go ahead and show you or tell you how big this is. So this is 13 inches and five inches tall. So yeah, these are really cool. These are really adorable for kids to decorate. Give them some paint, markers, buttons, stickers, and just have them decorate their sign. Keep it for yourself. Give it to a teacher. Give it to a parent or whatever. So there's a lot of things you can do with those. And it's been really cool seeing them for all the different holidays. Okay, the last Christmas item I picked up, this is by Christmas House, and it is a um, tree skirt. It's 18 inches by 18 inches, and look at there. It is the black and red buffalo checker, and it has fuzzy trim. I'm going to go ahead and open. Let's move my scissors because I did come prepared. I came with a razor blade, a ruler, measuring tape, and some water. So they had three different skirts this year. And this is the only one I picked up. Now, if you don't need a skirt, okay. If you make gnomes, I am a gnome freak. I did do a um, Dollar Tree gnome video. Again, go to my playlist, click on Dollar Tree DIYs. It should come up. There's like 50 some videos. And that'll give you an idea how to make some gnomes. But these are really cute to use for gnomes. Use this for a teeny tiny beard or make a tassel thing or make a shirt or a body or something. Just think, oh, you know what? Uh, let's see. Let's see if this is long enough. So that is long enough. I don't know how that would show the letters or anything, but there's just different things. You just got to think outside the box. Although I am using this for a tree, my kids' tree. But yeah, I thought it was cute. Okay, that's all the Christmas stuff I have to show you. Okay, scarves. They had something like this last year and they went just like that. I was able to find three different ones. This one is a 70 inch by 7.87 inch, whatever. Just put 70 by eight right here. Now again, this is perfect for gnomes. If you wanted to put a scarf around a gnome or if you're doing like say this sign, take a piece of this and tie it around the deer or something. But these are really, really nice. I cannot believe these are only a dollar. So these, um, I don't even know what colors those are. Red, gray, cream, black, and a little bit of a pink has the fringe on the bottom. So look how long that is. So there's that one. And then here's a black and white cream and blue one. So this one's really cool. So there's that. Again, it has the fringe. And then the last one, these are really fun colors. So there is that. Again, has the fringe on the bottom. So yeah, these are, you know what? I should try one of these on. Heck, why not? Is there something you need, bud? Yeah, what? What do you need? That's not yours. Just wait. Okay, back to Christmas play. So here is the scarf. All different ways you can wear it. So just to give you an idea. Oh, and before I forget, the shirt is from Target. Target. It was on sale for $15 and it sells for $19.99. So there is the scarf. Doesn't go with my outfit, but yeah. Oh, and the tank top. This is a tank top from Target as well, which was $8. So yeah, I love my shirts from Target. Oh, and another scarf. One more. Quite a few different ones of these. These are 62 inch by six and a half inch, but these are like a fleece, like a flannel. Look how cute that one is. Again, perfect for the gnomes. That's why I bought this for. You cut it in strips, put it on your gnome, use it for their body, use it for their hat, make little tassel tassel things. I can never say that word right. Don't know why. But yeah, these are so cute. Or use it for a snowman outside if you get any snow. Okay. Moving on, uh, oh, more winter stuff. Last winter items. 
This was a complete throwback of the 80s. I wore these all the time, all the time. Leg warmers, what? Yes, leg warmers. Um, it just says leg warmers, yeah, plain and simple. There's black. Let me see if I can take one off here. Hopefully they don't have it. Ooh. Let's see here. So there is the leg warmer. And I think I've seen women wear them on their arms or something. And they cut a little hole for their hand. Interesting, different way to use them. But again, this could be a body for a gnome. It's gnome season, you guys. No, speaking of gnomes. Here's my little gnome. I already decorated for fall. Yes, I am a fall freak and I don't care. I decorated my house in fall already. Okay, so leg warmers, black, a burgundy, cream, and a dark gray. Now, I don't know if there's any other colors. These are the colors that they had. Now, a lot of this stuff came from the Lima Road Dollar Tree here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, for those that are probably wondering, oh, where'd you get that? So that is where I got it. But again, watch the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos because there I tell you pretty good about telling you what store I'm at and show you what I was able to find at that store. I could have used these for Ruby's birthday. And thank you all for the wonderful birthday wishes for little Miss Ruby. That is my Boston Terrier. That is a two-time cancer survivor. She turned 12 years old. Look at these little party hats, you guys. Oh, so tiny. You get six of them. Let me go ahead and, well, since I have three dogs, I can still, oh, now we're using up. So look how cute these are. I'm sure a human can, oh, it's going to get stuck on my earring. It looks like a horn. Um, but yeah, those are super, super cute. And they are four inches tall. Oh, so you have two blue, two of the pink with dots and two of the stars. So cute. And they also had like a chair or a high chair um, fringe sign that says I'm one. Yeah, I'm one or something like that, which is really cute, you know. So they're coming out with some really adorable items over there in the party section and the baby section. Okay, a few other items to share with you. My daughters, well, mainly Sam, which is my now 21 year old and my fourth daughter, which is 13. Yeah, 13. They loved Littlest Pet Shop. Um, Ava still collects the Littlest Pet Shop and she customizes a lot of them. So when I saw these, I'm like, you know, that just reminds me of Littlest Pet Shop. Although the animals look nothing like them, but I think these are cute little play sets. These are ages three and up and you get a six piece set. So they had a dog set and a cat set. So let me go ahead and open the dogs. And they come with a little um, traveling cage. They are plastic. They are not like whatever. Well, I guess, yeah, they are plastic, but it's like a durable plastic. So that almost looks like a schnauzer. And that looks like a poodle. So you get the two animals, you get the bed, a bowl, a brush to brush plastic and the little carrier that I think that yeah the door opens so there you go look how cute that is oh there it locks there you go use it like a little purse walk into the store and say oh yeah I have changed pop it open and there you go so yes those are adorable again ages three and up and they are a six pack uh, they had two different colors of this they had purple and the yellow I picked up the yellow this is uh, ages three and up it's called mudslide Feather foam, watch it come alive. Try me, flip upside down. Well, I was playing with it in the store and I didn't do absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you, although it shows you in the back, it didn't do anything for me. Now these were hanging on the little plastic strips. Always be sure you check those out down every single aisle and every single checkout lane. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, so let's, ooh smell it just gotta smell everything Ooh, well that almost reminds me of the morph almost but this feels a little different very lightweight let's see if you can mold it yeah a little bit oh look it's moving it's like shrinking oh 
work. Yeah, I think I have a toy. Sit there and at your office or when you're Zooming without a Zoom class or whatever and just sit there and play with this. That is really cool. I'm going to try to do a close-up for you guys without getting it all over my carpet. I should say right. Look, oh gosh, it's crawling out of the container. It's alive. Okay, a couple of other items. This is by April Bath and Shower. These are cleansing facial scrubber. They had it in two different colors, like a pink, purplish color, and this blue. Um, it says helps remove um, clogged pores, works with your favorite cleanser or scrub. There on the back, it shows you how to use it. So all you do is add your water, just water, replace every 30 days. So I guess 12 of them to get you through a year. Uh, directions, wet face with warm water, remove and wet sponge, add your favorite cleanser or scrub. Hmm. Right, let's just go ahead and get this sucker open and, ooh, that feels weird. Ooh, there's something black in there. Really? I don't know if that's supposed to come out. Is this supposed to come out? There's like a charcoal thing in there. I don't know if that's supposed to come out. I don't think that's supposed to come out. Well, that's just interesting. So, oh, I just shoved it in there. I don't know. This just looks weird. I don't know. I don't know about that. Although the little, the simple things I make so complicated. But anyway, they have these. Uh, two other items, nothing real exciting, but my daughter loves using Pantene. So this is the Pantene Moisture Boost Conditioner infused with oil, moisturizes, and detangles hair for instant softness and strength after one wash. This is a 2.5 ounce for dry damaged hair. So there is that. You know, I didn't even smell it. I gotta smell everything. I'm just one of those weirdos. Ooh, smells clean. Put you on my April Fresh cardboard. That smells good. So that is what that looks like. Perfect for traveling. And then the other one is the Pantene Gold Series Sulfate Free Shampoo infused with oil shampoo to gently cleanse and instantly soften hair for dry, damaged hair. And this is a three ounce. So there you go. Shampoo. Ooh, that smells. That smells good too. Ooh, I like. I like. So yes, that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. As always, I wanna say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful safe Wednesday and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.